Just Bill Ranby with your accurate weather now forecast. It is Ranby Factor time this evening. Get say four. It's unpleasant for being and working outside. You can do it, but you got to bundle up. It's cold and windy. 53 and 42, the high and low for today. Certainly below average for a high temperature. And since midnight, no precipitation. Then we may get a few little spits of snow in here this evening. Half an inch of precipitation this month. There's the camera at 72nd and Crown Point zoomed in toward downtown. The camera is shaking because it is windy. Southwest wind 22, 43 now is the temperature. And it appears the winds are going to stay with us this evening, tonight and tomorrow. Already low 40s for western Iowa, upper 30s eastern Nebraska, low 30s Lincoln, uh, well west of Lincoln, York, Columbus and Norfolk. It's uh, interesting that at this time yesterday it was about the same in western Iowa temperature wise, but substantially colder here eastern and southeastern Nebraska. Of course, that gave rise to the thunderstorms yesterday evening that came up from Beatrice and Lincoln towards the metro. Winds are currently gusting 31 miles an hour in Omaha, 29 in Columbus and same at 31 in Norfolk. We haven't dug this map out for a while, but the wind chill the feels like 34 here, 27 Fremont and 18 the wind chill in Norfolk couple sprinkles on the radar in western Iowa. You see the radar and satellite together. This big swirl is the storm system, so some sprinkles here in western Iowa, but there are snow showers in central Nebraska and watch this. They're kind of on the move, so I think we may get a few of these this evening and tonight, but still the true blizzard conditions here in north central Nebraska, up into South Dakota and also western parts of Minnesota. That's where they still have blizzard warnings for this evening and tonight. Northern Nebraska, South Dakota, and western Minnesota. Low pressure, strong system over the Siouxland this evening. We'll get into a west and then northwest breeze overnight tonight. The snow stays north of us here. However, on the back side, we'll still have strong west winds and some periodic snow showers rotating on through here. During the day tomorrow, we could have some peaks of sunshine midday into the afternoon, but we'll have still the strong northwest wind and a couple of flurries and snow showers mixing in there. So very winter like weather on the way here tonight and tomorrow. It's possible you will see some snow showers this evening and overnight tonight. West winds 15 to 30 miles an hour. Temperatures dropping back to around 30 degrees for a low. Tomorrow morning, cold start 31 degrees. Maybe some flurries in the air. Pretty windy at midday, 36 degrees. And we keep the west winds 15 to 30 through the afternoon. There will probably be some peaks of sunshine and temperatures climb in the low 40s, but that's 20 degrees below average for this time of the year. About 10 degrees below average for highs on Saturday and Sunday. We should have some sunshine and the winds quite a bit lighter, so that helps. Next week, oh yeah, look at that Monday. We're back up to 68 degrees. That's good, but another front gets in here and temperatures start dropping again as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Again, this Saturday is the Husker Spring Game and it's chilly. It's good, but it's going to be dry. <laughs> well, that's good news. That's true. Okay, thanks, Phil.